Well, last year, of course, there was plenty to cheer for the French crown. The race won by Jimmy Gressier, the Frenchman, who's dropped down distance and set a personal best on Tuesday night in the Montreux meet meeting over 1,500 metres. Well, Gressier was plying his trade over the longer distance last year. Around 27, 24, 51. Third fastest ever time by a Frenchman. Winning by almost half a lap. Well, not many of the top finishers from last year in this competition for all sorts of different reasons. We lost Carlos Mayo second last year and Ephraim Giddy, the Irishman, who was sixth. Mills Boyd, who ran 20, very good 27 30. They were all supposed to be here, but for one reason or another, injury, lack of form, decided to pull out at the last minute. But instead, it's Chiqui Perez, Juan Antonio Perez, locally known as Chiqui, who's gone to the front. Vastly experienced runner in this competition. Perez, now 34 years of age. Looking very determined, competed in no less than six previous European Cups, finished second in 2016 and 2017, as well as back in 2015. I missed the 2015 race. He's actually running seven European Cup 10,000 metres and finished second on three occasions. So let's Keep an eye out, coming round to the one kilometre mark very shortly. Awani, Kripper, as expected up there. Gondouin, the Frenchman also there. Well, the pace has just slowed down just a little bit after that quicker early two laps down the back straight. It hasn't been quite as quick. So now it's Yamani Bahan Kripper. He hasn't really wasted much time, has he? Just coming through. This is the third lap. 22 to go. And he's been followed by Elias Suwani. Oh, Kripa. That's the best Italian national record of 27-10-76. That came in the final of the 2019 World Championships. He's the only man in this field with a career best faster than the cup record. He said he's coming here determined to really make a statement. Had a solid marathon debut in Milan at the start of April. I uh, was hoping to do a little bit better, just inside 2.09, a recent road race about two weeks ago, Monzo, but otherwise he's been training at high altitude in the Italian Alps. It's Elias. Luani who takes the lead instead. Oh, it's a pretty useful pace at this stage. This 31-man field strung out. Two 
Money behind Crippo. Really good record in continental competition. Second in the European Cross Country Championships in 2019, which in many respects was his halcyon year, despite the fact that he ran the won the gold medal in Munich last year. Finished fourth, struggled a little bit. There's a huge amount of medals. He was also European under 20 cross country champion in 2014 and 2015. 10,000 meters, of course, he won this event in 2019. There have been too many repeat winners. Last man to win two titles, and he did so back to back, was the Turk, Pola Arikan, won in 2012, 2014 and 2015. But apart from Arikan, Dieter Baumann, the German, there's only been, they're the only two double champions at this event, as Elias, Luani picks up the pace and it's FIFA, Elias FIFA, who's chasing him now. This is starting to turn into a really good race, urged on by the local musicians, traditional Breton music, using the pipes. So it's Luani, FIFA and Kripa really pushing the pace at the moment. Frere George Daguinos hanging on. Now well into the second kilometer. Ilias Fifa for Spain. Ilias Fifa now to the front. 18 laps to go, 7 completed. And the tall, long legged Spaniard striding out. And now it's Kripper back in front again. Kripper, well, he hasn't run a 10,000 meters since Munich. He's been concentrating on the roads and training. For these men, it's worth mentioning World Championship qualifying time is 27.10. Be a personal best for every single one of them. But uh, there's men who they're out there capable of doing it, not least of which are the three men at front. So it's a group of four athletes, as you can hear the infield announcers saying, that are starting to get away from the rest just very slightly. Also up there, Mady Frere, based in Paris. 26 years of age now, Frere. Had a good set of road results last year. He's already run 13.15 on the track for 5,000 metres. That was a personal best, which he ran just last weekend in Ordegan. So he's in shape. Now FIFA moves out. And Frere, well, does his bit to the front, but he slowed the pace down. The 
each other who's going to be leading for the next few meters the next few laps. Many fans are ahead. Iyazana Awani behind him. And Ilyas Kipa. So it's Freya going to the front. Kipa and uh, Agostinos. Freya, best of 28.03. His personal best coming in the European 10,000 Meters Cup in Birmingham two years ago. Pushing the pace along nicely. Shout out a bit further back for the Israeli Tedessa Getahon. Getahon won medals in age group levels only two weeks ago set a personal best of 27.33.99 he's actually the fastest man in this field out of those who've already run 10,000 meters this year gets him down in sixth at the moment as the leading group expands they caught Frere Luani Kripa FIFA at the front Aguinos who's up there as well the other Frenchman. George having a good race as well, the Briton. Thomas George. Based formerly at the University of Missouri. 28.06. She ran in California in Walnuts almost a month ago to the day on the 6th of May. So he's had one good 10,000 meter race already. But still, Mady Freire in front. Still Frere doing a lot of the hard work at the front. Frere made his debut in the marathon, in the Paris Marathon in April. So he's bouncing back from a debut marathon like Kripa. 2.11 for him. Not perhaps quite what he was hoping for, like Kripa. Solid performance rather than spectacular. But it's still Frere up the front. FIFA, Owani, Kripa. All of them looking very relaxed at this stage. So coming round, 13 laps to go, we'll be at the halfway point, down the back straight. It's pretty even in the team competition at the moment with between Italy and Spain as well. Let's keep an eye on the clock. They're outside 28 minutes though. At this stage it will get quicker, I think. Fourteen thirteen fifty-five. So we're looking at twenty-eight twenty-five pace at the moment. Not quite the pace that we saw last year. Now it's FIFA starting to inject a little bit more pace. Well, they're clocking outside 68 minute pace at the moment. They're going to want to. Ra Many of these men are going to want to increase that. It is a cut race. It is a with medals in at stake for both individuals and teams. 
The purpose is also sometimes to come here and get good fast runs as well. Now FIFA, I don't think he can be blamed. He's taken on a fair bit of the pace. Fair as well. Let's get on. Oh. That's Nakaganet Cripper dropping out. Well, Nakaganet Cripper. Former World Junior Marathon uh, Mountain Running Champion. Sub 28 minute man himself, but not today. Just wondering whether that could damage Italian aspirations of taking the team title. So Tedesa Getahun takes the lead for the first time, gets into the front, being chased by Yamani Bahan Kripa and Elias Bawani. Getahun, silver medalist over 10,000 metres at the European Under-23 Championships in Yevla back in 2019. A very impressive performance from the Israeli on that occasion. If I remember rightly, Israel, Israel's first ever medal at those championships. And he's carried on getting better and better. Just wonder though how much he's got left in his legs after that. 27.33 performance in London just a couple of weeks ago. Well, last year he was disqualified. I can't exactly remember what he was disqualified for, to be honest. <laughs> but he certainly... Mm. He's bounced back and set a national record in London. So I'm just wondering how he's going to go here. They're not close to 27.30 pace at the moment, though. Still well outside 28 minutes. And just looking very, very calm and collected indeed. Yamani behind Kripa. Well, we all know that, but. Kripa has a really impressive turn of speed over the last lap. Maybe that's what he's just decided to do. I'm trying to second guess what may be going on behind, between Yamani Bahan's Kripa's ears. Maybe he just decided with no one really wanting to push the pace into 70, 27 and a half minute area, just decided to sit in because he is the one man that we know in this field has got a really good kick. Still a lot of the field all together. Probably about 40 metres covering the entire field. Awani up there as well. Palkau. Palkau having a good run though. It's a 28.07 man at best. So the French doing well at the moment. They had slightly written off their chances of taking the team title. But they've got three in the top eight at the moment. Spaniards also running well at this stage. They've got three people well placed. Israel, I think, as well up there. They're in contention. So it's Ayala now. Second Israeli at the front. Gasho Ayala took bronze in the marathon in Munich. He worked his way around that city. 
the best of 205 in the marathon, which he did recently in Seville. And that set a national record for Israel. And he's looking as though he's turning his talents to the track quite effectively. Personal best of 2808. That actually came in London two weeks ago as well, which was where Getahon did well. And he's uh, just moved to one side now. Let FIFA take the pace. And FIFA's been always there or thereabouts. So up in the top 10. Just the lone Spaniard leading the way. Well, we've got two Israelis, two Italians, three Frenchmen. Well, in the men's B race and the women's A race, they were pretty much processions for the leaders. But this is anything but. This is turning into a really thrilling finale to this European 10,000 metres cup. So he loves FIFA. Looking around though for somebody else perhaps to help with the pace. He can't be faulted, he's done a lot of work himself at the front. So he's coming through with six laps to go. 2,400 metres. Coming around the outside again, showing out in the second lane. It's Mady Frere getting to the front again, just covering the brakes. This is a good time to position yourself nicely. So it's FIFA and Frere. Up in front, two abreast. Behind them, Cripper. And get a home. Get a home, the slightly more stocky of the two Israelis. Also up there, Gebruet for Nile. So Italy and France battling for team honours here. France, of course, trying to make it a hat trick. Italy last won this competition, the men's title at least. Back in 2019. Gondwin also in there. Having an extremely good run. Gondwin, haven't really talked about him very much. European Under-23 Championship bronze medalist in 2021. Just finishing a place behind Tedesa Getahon. Sorry, Getahon taking the silver two years earlier. Four years ago, rather. Gondouin. Gondouin setting his personal best here last year as well. The man currently in sixth place at the moment. But it's now starting to heat up a little bit. Yamani Bahan Kripa just starting to crank up the pace just a little bit. So four laps to go, 1,600 metres. And that injection of pace has just slightly splintered the leading group. So it's Kripa, get on on his shoulder, still showing no effects of that 27.33 run in London just two weeks ago. Elias FIFA in third, the Spaniard who's made so much of the running. Gashal Ayala, two Israelis in the top four at the moment. Gondouin of France in fifth. And coming through, he's come from a long way back, Gebrouet Faniel. So it's three Italians in the top six. And it's that group who are starting to move away now with just three laps to go.
And you can see, and they go through in almost exactly 25 minutes with three laps to go, 1,200 meters. Well, it's a bit of a tall order to get inside 28 minutes, but it's going to be an absolutely thrilling finale. So let's not worry about the clock for the moment. Let's just have a look at the men in front as once again, Tedessa gets a home, gets to the front. Elias FIFA now and Yamani Bahan. You can just feel that he's waiting there to pounce as they come up to the nine kilometer mark, just one kilometer to go. 25, 35, 49 with a kilometer to go. This is going to be an absolutely enthralling and thrilling last kilometer. This is one of the best finishes to the European 10,000 meter cup I've seen for some years. Far too often, they turn into a bit of a procession at the front with the man in form, just letting everybody else battle for the minor medals. 800 meters to go. 26-11 unofficially, and it's Elias FIFA at the front for Spain. Spain have won this in the past on a regular basis. Most recently, 2017, Antonio Abadia. Getahon, Israel have never won this individual title nor a team title and then the favorite Yamani Bahan Kripa as they come up to 600 meters to go also up there still it's Gashur Ayala Gebruet Faniel and Gondawan are still up there Ferreira's drifted back Thomas George ran a very solid race in seventh and he's still up there doing well as we come up to hear the bell it's going to be Elias FIFA and now Yamani Kripa waiting to pounce hitting the front as they hit the bell well there was a certain predictability about this it's not dissimilar to the way that he won gold in Munich last August he's looking around He's the man who really does have the turn of speed that can leave everyone trailing in his wake. Teresa Getahun though isn't letting him go. FIFA starting to struggle to, take, to stay with the leading pair. Ayala's gone now. So it's just these three men in front. It's Kripa, Getahun and FIFA. That's the one, two, three. Italy, Israel and Spain as they're coming around the bend for the last time coming into the home straight now Tedessa Getahun trying to get up on his shoulder battling valiantly with Yamani behind Kripa but Kripa has an extra gear 2019 champion becomes champion in 2023 the European 10,000 meters cup goes to Italy's Yamani Bahan Kripa unofficially the winning time at 28.08.84. Well, the windy conditions probably put pay to a sub 28 minute time. The Israelis urging their teammate around, just trying to see whether they can get themselves on the podium. I think the team title probably will go to Italy. France probably in second place, but maybe the Israelis do find their place on the podium. We'll give you confirmation of the team standing shortly. But well, the one, two, three, there was no doubt at all about that in the end. Yamani Bahan Kripa, who had all the weapons in his artillery, he did exactly what we expected. Waited, waited, and then hit the front at the bell, and nobody went past him on that last lap. Tedessa Getahon, all credit to the Israeli, coming back after a really good race two weeks ago, still had plenty in his legs and challenged Kripa really hard. But in the end, it was the Italian who prevailed and regained the European 10,000 meters cup individual title he won back in 2019 and just adds to his list of continental honors. Elias FIFA, who made the pace for so much of that race, finishing third for Spain. <laughs> He's tied your money behind grip, I can tell that. Get, getting advice on which way to hold the Italian flag. <laughs> And I think he's tired as well after that marathon debut in April, but he still had enough. 
to hold off the best of the rest of Europe's distance runners at the European 10,000 meters cup. The Israelis, they did so well. They're looking a happy quintet there, the five runners from Israel. All well, six, is it? Boer. Now we're expecting a little bit more from Felix Boer. Didn't feature. Well, there's the six Israeli runners. Abu Hai. He may well be getting a medal. I'm not sure he was in the scoring trio. There's Frere, who we saw so far at the at the front during the first half of the race and well into the second half. Israelis are happy though.